Hi, thanks for tuning in to our Wednesday devotion once again. Today I want to consider this verse. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. It's John 15 verse 13. As many of you know, Saturday was Anzac Day. And maybe like me and my family, we went out and stood on our drive. We saw others in our street standing, being reverent and honouring our Anzacs. Some with candles, some with the last post playing from their phones. As I took a walk later in the day, around the streets where I live, there were many front yards decorated with lest we forget crosses and monuments and tributes to those that had fought to keep us free. It was a great time to celebrate and to remember those that gave their life and those that are still serving so that our country can be free. In John 15, 13, Jesus spoke these words to his disciples a few hours before he was arrested and the next day he would lay down his life upon the cross. He gave up his life willingly to pay the price for our sin, for my sin, for the sins of the world. Jesus clarifies his definition of ultimate love by adding, You are my friends if you do what I command. And that command is, love each other as I have loved you. Love each other. Earlier that evening as he ate his last supper with the disciples, Jesus had said a similar thing, calling it a new commandment. I sometimes wonder, how can I love like this? How can I? How does that love show up in my life, in your life? Loving others by dying for them, I don't think it's expected of us. But we're called to love one another with the love that's within us because of Christ's sacrifice. Love others by giving of our time, our resources, our gifts, our talents. That's a great place to start. Pastor Craig Rochelle said this the other day. If you want to serve God's purpose, start serving God's people. Start serving God's people. How are you loving? How are you serving in these difficult days? There's more to it than just being kind or patient. Remember, love always trusts and love always perseveres, we're told. Friends, have a great love, a greater love, because of Jesus and what he's done for you. Let his love flow onto others. Remember that woman caught in adultery in John chapter 8? They had their rocks ready to stone her. The religious leaders wanted to have this woman stoned for her sinfulness. But Jesus comes. And he makes them put down their rocks. Because only he alone was without sin. And was the only one qualified to throw a stone. When all was said and done, it was just her and Jesus. As the religious leaders and the crowd walked away one by one from this scandalous scene, all that was left was Jesus and the woman. Jesus does not punish her. Jesus does not punish me. Jesus does not punish you. Jesus could have put this woman to death. But instead he forgave her. Loved her. Restored her. And went 
to the cross and died for all. Jesus forgives. Jesus loves. Jesus restores. Jesus lifts the condemnation. He showed her love and dignity. Jesus tells this woman that he does not condemn her. Go and make a change. Go and sin no more. In Romans 8 verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Jesus. That's you and that's me. If you've embraced a Christian faith in Jesus Christ, go friends, go and show great love. Go and be people of compassion. Go and sin no more. Be his hands and feet. Care, love, listen, encourage, restore. Thanks for listening. Great to connect with you today. May God bless you from this devotion today. Amen.